Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and by welcome back, I mean it's been a minute, but hi, I'm Alec, Fluffy Triforce, whatever you want to call me. Um, we are doing well, we're moving, we're grooving, all is good in the world, and guess what? We're back, we're making art, we're making a new tutorial, and I'm going to be showing you how to make this rainbow eyeball in less than five minutes. So basically, if you did not see, I made a DJ set called Euphoria. I posted it on um, YouTube two days ago. That's been my shtick. I'm going to be doing a lot of those and I'm going to be breaking down the process and breaking down some visuals as much as I can. So I am going to go over how I made this little eyeball today. And if you are interested in that, check it out. We're gonna go deep dive and by deep dive, I mean, this one's a pretty easy tutorial and it adds a lot of like oomph and color to just a static image or any image you're working with. And I'm gonna be breaking down the process of this and another part of this gradient. So if you're interested in that and you wanna learn a new skill, stick around, cause we're gonna get into it right now. <laughs> Before we get into any programs, I just want to make sure we're going over our clips first. So you're going to want to make sure you have a nice video, a nice still, something that is interesting, and something that you want to make colorful. So for the first clip, I have this eyeball. I got it from Adobe Stock, nothing too fancy. We're going to process it and make it all rainbow. And for the second clip, I'm using Emma's eyes. I recorded them with my camera. I couldn't get in depth enough to get her eyeball, so that's why I'm working with the stock footage. Can't hate on stock footage if it gets the job done, but these are Emma's eyes synced to the music, and we're going to add the colorama effect and after effects and get them all rainbow and moving and grooving so if you want to learn how to do that we're going to jump into after effects right now and i'm going to go over the process of giving it the colorama effect so right now we're just going to jump into after effects i have a blank canvas um, my aspect ratio is 1920 by 1080 because that's the width of the dj set when i project on me so that's what we're working with we have a blank canvas and we're just going to drop in our footage our little stock footage over here so i'm going to go drag our eyeball first and then it's taken up the whole screen. It's great, we got an After Effects, but nothing is happening. You're wondering how we're gonna make this rainbow. There's so many keyframes. There's so much that goes into it. How are we possibly going to make something move that quickly? Well, guys, I'm going to show you with just one effect. So you're gonna go into your effects and presets and go to Colorama, and you're gonna drag it on your footage. Boom, we got a rainbow eye. But that's a little too rainbow for us. We need it to be contrasted. We need there to be a difference. We need there to be two colors. We need it to be moving. How are we gonna do all that? So to do that, we're gonna go jump into the effects of Colorama right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open the output cycle here and you're gonna see this gradient rainbow wheel. Right now we have a lot of colors going on, but the best way to do this, in my opinion, is to just do two contrasting colors because that's gonna give you the best effect. If you really want it to be rainbow, you wanna go in there, you really wanna tweak it, Put as many colors as you want but for the eyes and for the visuals i made in the dj set we're just rocking with two colors so to remove the colors you just want to click and drag them away over here and get us to two contrasting colors on the top and bottom this is like a pretty good output i like the pink i like the teal we're moving we're grooving i'm really enjoying this one so right now we have it going but nothing's really moving except the clip. So we're gonna wanna keyframe this clip to give it the motion of the visual. So once you have colors that you like, you're gonna go down here to your effects and then go to Colorama and make sure you have your input phase selected because this is what's going to determine the amount of repetitions and the shift of your color. So right now, we're gonna wanna go to phase shift because that's gonna be the parameter that we're adjusting to get the colors moving. So we're gonna set a keyframe at the beginning of the clip and wherever you want the clip to end, you could put a keyframe at the end. So that's gonna be where the colors are cycling. So just for the example, it's 10 seconds. I'm gonna do 10 repetitions, and then we're just gonna play it. It's looking good. Our colors are moving, they're grooving. It's very exciting. So basically the repetitions are gonna be how fast or how slow your colors are moving. You could tweak it as much as you want. 10 seems like pretty calm. If you want, you could go to 50 and like just really get crazy with it, but I like to stick to like 10 or 20 repetitions because that just seems like a very fun effect and you could build on top of that. You could even like keyframe it to be faster or slower if you're doing like a build up or a drop or keyframe it to a beat. But I really like this effect and I used it a lot in the last DJ set because it really allows you to adjust the colors and really make a static clip or something that's plain really feel like alive and like a motion graphic with just a little bit of effort. And that's why I really like the Colorama effect and I think it's a great tool if you're making tour visuals. So now I just wanna try the effect out of my other clip. So I'm gonna go and replace the clip here in After Effects and we're gonna go to File, Desktop. Excuse the messy desktop, I just did a DJ set so there's a lot of files everywhere. So excuse me. 
and we're going to go and put it on Emma's eyes in the middle over here. So we're just gonna let that play. And it looks crazy. Like once this is like projected or on a screen, like I think this effect is very successful. If anyone's ever seen Maddian or like his tour visuals or music videos, he uses this effect a lot. He probably has a little secret sauce to the process, but this is just the base effect. And I think it's really successful in getting you a fun effect that is really quick and really exciting for like the viewer. So I'm gonna go and export these and sync them up to the music. And we're gonna see what our final product looks like. And there we go, we synced up our visual to the music, and look at that, we have our own tour visual with the colorama effect. You can use it for your next VJ set, DJ set, party, gathering, who knows what. Whatever you wanna do, the colorama effect is now yours. So I used this in the last DJ set I did, which was Euphoria, which I posted a few days ago. You could check it out, there's 20 more minutes of footage there and a lot of keyframes. So if you want more visuals, you could check that out there. And if you don't, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I will see you in the next one for another exciting tour visual breakdown. So until then, I'll see you next time. Peace out guys, later.